Peacecraft.us, the international filibuster for peace. The General Assembly, recalling its resolution 3667th of the 30th of November, 1981, by which it declared that the third Tuesday of September, the opening day of the regular sessions of the General Assembly, shall be officially proclaimed and observed as the International Day of Peace, and shall be devoted to commemorating and strengthening the ideals of peace both within and among all nations and peoples, recalling also its other relevant resolutions, including Resolution 5514 of the 3rd of November 2000, reaffirming the contribution that the observance and celebration of the International Day of Peace makes in strengthening the ideals of peace and alleviating the tensions and causes of conflict, considering the unique opportunity it offers for a cessation of violence and conflict throughout the world, and the related importance of achieving the broadest possible awareness and observance of the International Day of Peace among the global community, desiring to actually achieve for the first time the objective of the International Day of Peace, the 21st of September of each year, obtaining a global ceasefire, one, decides that, with effect from the current session of the General Assembly, an international filibuster for peace shall be observed, commencing on the 8th of July and ending on the 21st of September each year, with this event to be brought to the attention of all people for the celebration and observance of peace. Two, declares that each country in the United Nations General Assembly shall henceforth be designated and observe a specific 24-hour period of national ceasefire and nonviolence between the 8th of July and the 13th of September of each year. Three, decides that three countries in different time zones will broadcast an eight-hour celebration of their nation's 24-hour day of ceasefire each day from the 8th of July to the 13th of September each year. Four, decides that a committee of the United Nations General Assembly will strategically and tactically front load the individual nation's day of ceasefire with the countries whom are not currently engaging in warfare within their borders. Five, declares that every the 14th of September will be a day of ceasefire for every nation in Antarctica, the 15th of September, for every country in North America, the 16th of September, for every nation in Oceania, the 17th of September for every nation in Europe, the 18th of September for every nation in South America, the 19th of September for every nation in Asia, and the 20th of September for every nation in Africa, with all countries continuing to observe the United Nations Resolution 3667 of the 30th of November 1981 for a global day of ceasefire on the 21st of September 6 declares that in order to make the international filibuster for peace actually come to fruition, the United Nations will seek the aid and support of international NGOs and corporations to sponsor the international filibuster for peace's alternate reality game, ARG, called Peacecraft.us, where sponsors will sell individual items or provide services in return for peace points posted on the Peacecraft.us peace leaderboard. Seven declares it will seek the aid and assistance of international platforms of social media, including Meta, Alphabet, OpenAI, and Snapchat, as well as traditional media ranging from the three major American networks, American Broadcasting Company, ABC, National Broadcasting Company, NBC, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS, to promote and become lead sponsors of the International Filibuster for Peace from the 8th of July to the 21st of September of each year. Eight invites all member states, organizations of the United Nations system, regional and non-governmental organizations and individuals to commemorate in a manner celebrating each individual country's culture on their international filibuster for peace day of national 24-hour ceasefire through education, public awareness, and participation to cooperate with the United Nations in the establishment of the International Filibuster for Peace, ending with a global ceasefire and a global minute of simultaneous silence. Peacecraft.us is seeking sponsor nations to be voted on at and adopted before the United Nations General Assembly. If not now, when? We've got a step-by-step -step plan, and you can help make it happen by visiting Peacecraft.us for more information on how to make your voice heard. Peace out, folks.